hello and welcome to this presentation on the ATP PC system. Um, I'm going to talk to you really about the, the key factors which allow the PC system or the phosphocreatine system to resynthesize ADP into ATP. So the, I guess the first thing we should do is we should remind ourselves that when we want to move ATP, adenosine triphosphate, in our muscle cells is converted into energy and two further products. And this is achieved in the presence of an enzyme called ATP, let me do that again, ATPase, ATPase. And this enzyme actually breaks down ATP to form ADP, ADP plus P plus, so that's, that's a phosphate group, plus energy. And it's this energy, as we looked at in our very initial lesson on the role of ATP in the body, it's this energy that is then used for movement, or at least in our context, we think about it being used for movement. It could be any bodily function, really, in terms, including heat generation. But this energy is then used for movement. So the question that arises is, what do we do with ADP? and the other phosphate group to reform this ATP so that this cycle can continue. And the first thing I want you to realize is that if we take this concept of ATP, if we take this concept of ATP, when ATP levels in the muscle fall, so when ATP levels fall, when ATP levels fall, this activates something called creatine kinase. This activates creatine kinase activates creatine kinase and I hope that straight away as soon as I write creatine kinase you notice something about this term and kinase of course with this ASE ending as we've previously seen this ASE ending this